Hi guys. I've been reading through my comments a lot recently and I have been getting an overwhelming amount of requests from you guys to do an updated makeup tutorial. I'm not sure what it is about my current makeup routine, but you guys seem to really like it. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. During the summer, I don't wear makeup quite every day, but this is what I usually tend to gravitate towards. Yeah, that's what this video is gonna be. I got my coffee. I woke up like two hours ago, so my voice is still a little bit of like the morning voice, a little bit groggy. You're getting the full experience today because I usually do my makeup like while I'm in this state so i'm gonna go ahead and just get started with my skincare i'm just gonna be showing you like my morning skincare because that's what i do before i do my makeup let's head into the bathroom and begin that process okay i'm not really sure where to put you guys so i'm putting you on this shelf that is above my toilet and it's kind of at a weird angle but the lighting and just like overall setup in my bathroom is not very good so this is what we have to work with so the first step in my morning skincare routine is cleanser this is the Curology cleanser so i'm gonna go ahead tie my hair back cleanse my face and then i'll continue on with my skincare okay i just very messily put my hair up Next, I go in with a lip scrub this is just to get all the like dead skin and like little crusties off of my lips Okay, next I go in with the Ordinary Hydrolonic Acid 2% Plus B5 Serum. I use like three drops of this, like four or five drops max because it's very strong. And then you just wanna like pat it on your skin, bring it down your neck. Next I go in with another serum. This is the Ordinary Nice in My 10% Zinc 1%, but I still just use a pretty light amount. Pat it on my face. Next I go in with an eye cream. This is a hydrating eye gel cream. It's just supposed to like brighten up your under eyes. I've always had very like puffy, dark under eyes. It's literally genetics. Like they've always been like that. If you look at pictures of me when I was like five years old, I've just always had these like eye bags. They're definitely not going away anytime soon, but I do try to like brighten them up and like reduce puffiness. So I just take a little bit on my ring finger like that, rub it on my other ring finger and then just like lightly pat it underneath my eyes my mom has always told me this and i feel like i see it everywhere on like social media but apparently you're supposed to use your ring finger when you're touching your eyes because it's supposed to be the most like delicate gentle finger and underneath your eyes is a very sensitive area next i go in with a moisturizer this is the curology moisturizer once again just kind of using curology as like the base of my skincare routine so i just use like three pumps of this sometimes more i have very dry skin so i try to just use a lot of moisturizer to keep it moisturized obviously then i put on sunscreen this is the super goop unseen sunscreen spf 40 i love this sunscreen so much it's like a little bit more expensive than like a drugstore sunscreen but what i like about it is that it is literally clear like you cannot see any white casts or anything like that on your face the sunscreen also is like a primer so i just use this as my primer like priming for my makeup okay that is it for my skincare we're looking a little more fresh um so now it's time to go ahead and put on my makeup Okay, I just clipped back my hair, got it out of my face, and now we are gonna start the actual makeup process. I have all my makeup products on my bed right here, and then I also have this giant mirror right back here so that I can like see myself as I'm doing my makeup. So obviously my skin is all prepped, ready to go. I have some primer on. I just wanna disclaim that I'm obviously not a professional like makeup artist or professional makeup anything. This is literally just like what I do for myself at home in my bedroom. I've watched tons of makeup videos and that's like how I taught myself but I'm not a professional and probably a lot of things that I'm gonna do are gonna make some people annoyed and I'm sorry, but this is just, you know, the way that I do my makeup. Okay, so the first thing that I use is concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I actually bought this like a few weeks ago and I think I bought a shade way too light for me. Like this shade just does not match my skin tone, but I cannot return it at this point and I just have to use it. So I have a concealer that doesn't match my skin tone, which is funny because I literally bought it because the one that I had before didn't match my skin color and I wanted one that matched but then I just ended up buying one that still does not match my skin color. So I usually just go ahead and put on concealer underneath my eyes. That's like the main place that I put it. I like to kind of like go in like the lifting motion. This is probably gonna be the most like basic makeup routine you've ever seen. But like I said, I did learn how to do my makeup from watching videos on YouTube and like TikToks and stuff. So then I like to kind of like cover up any like 
acne on my forehead. Um, and then I like to do a little tiny bit underneath the nose and that's it. This might be wrong, but I like to let my concealer sit for like 30 seconds, like minimum, just to kind of like soak into my face because I feel like it stays a little bit better when I do that. So yeah, we're basically just going and blending this out. As you can see, this is not my skin tone at all. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and set the concealer with the Laura Mercier setting powder. I kind of just like set it underneath my eyes, a little bit on my forehead, underneath the nose, anywhere where I put concealer. While this is sitting, I go ahead and contour my nose a little bit. I use the Lula Benefit bronzer and then I use this like little eyeshadow brush, um, but I just take a little bit <laughs> on the brush. Then I just make like a line. I kind of try to follow the natural bridge of my nose just like making lines like this going up connecting it to my eyebrows that's what it looks like i'm gonna blend it then i put some down here on like the bottom of my nose then i connect this line with this line with like a little circle so i kind of just get a little more on my brush kind of round it out make a circle but yeah that's like the general idea of what i do um just like a little more light <laughs> i kind of did it very heavy today but yeah then i go ahead and blend this out but yeah, it's kind of just like messing around with it until I like the way that it looks. I try not to do anything too crazy or like change the entire shape of my nose. I just like to add a little bit of like definition, you know, make her look a little more snatched. Okay, so then I go ahead and do a little bit more contouring once again using my Hula bronzer and then I use this big brush. You're gonna see this brush quite a bit throughout the makeup routine because this is like my favorite brush. I use it for everything. So I just take a little bit on my brush and do some like bronzing slash contouring. And then I also like to blend some into my ears, put a little bit on my jawline. And then I add some to my forehead. I do like the sides of my forehead up here, like towards the top, just basically like all over the top of my forehead and then my cheekbones, you know, anywhere that I want to be a little bit darker, a little bit more like snatched, I don't know. The next step is blush. I love blush. These are the two blushes that I use. I have the Charlotte Tilbury glow stick one. I, everyone uses this, but I love it. It is literally amazing. And then I have the Milani blush. This is in the shade Dulce Pink. I love both of these blushes. I feel like they give a very similar effect and I love how they're both a little bit more pink. Um, but this one is obviously like a liquid one and then this one is a powder one so it just kind of depends on the day i also like to mix them which is what i'm going to do today starting with the liquid blush i like to kind of like go <laughs> like that i like to focus it more on the cheekbones some days i'll just go everywhere it just kind of depends on like the look i'm going for and then i also like to put a little bit underneath the eyes like that i'm not really sure why but i love the look and then a little bit on the nose as well. For the liquid blush, I actually really like using my fingers. She's kind of going in like a circular motion. And then next I go in with the Milani powder blush. So about a week ago, I had this blush on the counter. It just, it was like pretty brand new. It had the beautiful little like dome. It was, she was looking pretty. She was looking fresh. And then I don't know what happened, but my arm like flew and then it hit the blush and the blush went flying on the floor. This thing opened and the top, the beautiful little dome cracked off. And now she's looking like this, which is fine. But it was, it, it just, but yeah, basically I just go over the same areas. It just adds a little bit more pink, a little more color. And then I love putting blush on my nose because it really just like helps like contour it further and it just makes you look like you got a little sunburn on your nose. So I always do this. So the next thing that I do is highlighter. I just like to do a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes. This is the highlighter that I use. The lid is like completely broken off, but on the back it says Revolution Highlighter in the shade Dare to Divulge. And then I do a little bit on the tip of my nose, my brow bone just like right underneath my brows then i take my finger and just do a tiny bit that that's not a tiny bit that was too much <laughs> but i do some on my cheekbones that is too much but you get the idea next i do a little bit of like a winged eyeliner but i keep it pretty natural i use brown eyeshadow you've probably seen a ton of people do this before but i really just like doing it so i just take a little bit of this dark brown eyeshadow and then this kind of like pointed angle brush i stole this from my mom a few years ago most of these brushes are from my mom so shout out to my mom for either giving these to me or letting me take them from her so i just take some of this dark brown eyeshadow and then i go underneath 
my eyes not on my waterline because i'm too scared to like actually put something on my waterline but just like right underneath where my eyelashes are and then i take the like pointed part of the brush and basically just make like a little swoop out like a little you know eyeliner my camera died so the angle is changing once again but i just finished doing the little like eyeliner thing off camera we are gonna go ahead and do mascara mascara is what like brings everything together with makeup it just like makes your eyes pop i use like three different mascaras it just kind of depends on the day what i'm doing where i'm going how long i want my makeup to stay on it's just the vibe that i'm going for so the first one is the maybelline last sensation lash lash sensational mascara i have used this for like at least a year or two i love it it gives you that very much like thick lash effect then the next one that i use is another pretty popular one it is the l'oreal telescopic mascara this one is great for like long lashes if you want your lashes to look like very long and then i have the covergirl lash blast la la lash blast volume waterproof mascara i like this mascara because it kind of gives you the mix of like the long lashes that this one gives you and then it also gives you the thick lashes and then this one's also waterproof so it holds the curl really nicely and it stays on when you're swimming if you're sweating it just like stays on longer so this one has been my go-to favorite recently sometimes i'll use like a mix of them i'll like mix them together but i think today i just want to keep it simple keep it classic so we're going to use the covergirl lash blast I cannot say that lash blast volume mascara okay so the first thing that I do is I brush my lashes to make sure that there's no like clumps of them or anything like that and then I take my eyelash curler I usually like to clean it before but it's not like too dirty right now Okay, so now that they are curled, I'm going in with my mascara, just kind of twist it out. And I don't really have like a very specific way that I put on my mascara. I kind of just like put it on. Okay, then what I do for the bottom lashes after I just do like a quick base is I take my brush like this way and then kind of clump them together. I don't know if you can see. Okay, then I take a little bit of my cellar water on a cotton pad and just kind of like clean up around my eyes because you can see there's definitely like some mascara that's smudged. So I'm gonna just do that real quick. Um in the mirror <laughs> the next step in my routine is brows i really need to improve my brow game because my brows just are not my best attribute i actually don't know how to fill in my brows which i probably should learn because i feel like it could improve my makeup game as of now i just do soap brows so i use my little spoolie and then i use some sort of soap i have a bar of soap that i usually use it just got like really crusty and old and i decided not to use it anymore so today i'm just going to use hand soap i actually am guilty of doing this way too often like just getting a little bit of soap and putting on my brows which i know it seems kind of gross but also like why is this gross like it literally is made for cleaning we use it on our hands and then people use the bar of soap all the time and that's not gross like so i'm just gonna get a little bit of this hand soap mix it with some water and like put it on my brows so i'm gonna go get a little bit of water real quick then I'll take my spoolie and just like brush them up. Next, I do my lips. This is something that I feel like really just brings the entire makeup look together. So I literally just do some chapstick. Then I use a lip pencil, just like line my lips. This is the NYX lip pencil in the shade Peekaboo. It's kind of hard to talk while I'm doing this, but I basically just line my lips. And I like kind of overline a little bit, nothing crazy. Um, but since it is very close to my natural color, I can get away with like overlining a bit on the bottom. I also got a lot of comments about like freckles because sometimes I'll do fake freckles, which I'm not gonna do in this video because recently I haven't been loving the way they look on me. Um, but whenever I do them, I use the little like freck freckle pen. It's like $20 for like this little thing. Um, but then I'll just kind of dot it on, you know, stamp it on my face. But yeah, then the last step in my makeup routine is a setting spray. I used to use the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and I really liked it. And then one of my friends told me about the ColourPop Pretty Fresh and I feel like it's very, very similar. This is a hydrolonic acid setting mist, so it's like good for your skin. You got the hydrolonic acid and then it just kind of like sets your makeup in place, makes it stay longer. And I also just love spraying things in my face. It just feels like it's like a finish to your face.
say that makeup is something that I just do for fun. It's just kind of like something that makes me feel a little more confident, a little more pretty. You can kind of have fun with like, you know, different lip colors, different blush colors, um, you know, just having fun with it. It's meant to like enhance your natural features. You definitely do not have to wear makeup or like have to follow a certain routine. It's just something that is like very customizable to your own face and that is the beauty of makeup. Also guys, my analytics tell me that 71% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed, which is so crazy to me because there's already so many of you guys that like are subscribed. So if you're watching this and you have the option to subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Obviously, I still appreciate you watching my videos if you're not subscribed, but that's just so crazy that there's that many of you that are not subscribed. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.